New Smyrna Beach, a place where history meets the beach. Not all that different from St. Augustine, although the city and town itself is quite a bit different than St. Augustine. It does not carry the same amount of rich history or the real vibe that St. Augustine has going on. In fact, it's quite the opposite here in New Smyrna. It's actually a very quiet little beach town and it reminds me a lot of this place near where I grew up called Cherry Valley, Illinois. And the reason why it reminds me of that place is because it's such a small little town and the way that the shops are lined up on the streets and everything like that it just is kind of reminiscent of Cherry Valley and one day when I go back to Illinois I'll take some footage there and you guys can see what I mean. But similarly to St. Augustine they do have what's, what appears to be leftover of a Spanish fort. I'm not sure if it actually was a Spanish fort or not but it looks like it has a similar kind of construction and of course they have beautiful flowers and plants here as well so driving around this little historical town center was very reminiscent of a lot of the smaller towns i grew up around in illinois you have like the mom and pop drug stores and the mom and pop hardware stores and even like a pete's auto shop it might not be called pete's but you know what i mean and just like these little boutique stores and restaurants, unfortunately, a lot of it was closed, but it seemed like the closer that you get to the beach, more stuff was open, so that's cool. And let's go check out the fort now. And anybody who's ever been to St. Augustine before would be able to quickly realize like the same type of construction that this spot has. So you got that. And other than that, the beach is just right across the bridge. You got the marina right across the street from this historical site. Um, a couple things about New Smyrna. So we actually were looking at possibly staying in a hotel here and to be honest with you guys I really don't think it's worth the money. We were looking at hotels near the beach and they wanted upwards of three four hundred dollars a night and just for some regular hotel room. Nothing fancy, nothing worth writing home about. So yeah, we decided to pass and we ended up staying just up the road in Port Orange and that ended up being a much better value than staying in New Smyrna. And to be totally honest with you guys, there really wasn't that much here worth sticking around for. Right now where you're seeing, this is the town center of New Smyrna. So we were here probably maybe five o'clock in the afternoon and walking down the street Half of the, the stores here were already closed for the day. So that's kind of like a pet peeve I have about a lot of these smaller towns in Florida. Even this uh, little place up here on the right, yeah, this house, I forgot what it was, some type of gardening shop or something like that. Beautiful place, look at that yard. But it was already closed. Oh, it's an antique shop, that's what it was. But it was already closed, even says right there, open by chance, right? And you got like this bikini store already closed. A lot of things were closed, but a couple of the restaurants were open and like the drug store, little things like that. But you know what guys, I mean, visiting as a tourist or even if you were considering living in a place like this, I would feel like it's pretty uneventful. And you know, while it might be a nice spot to live in the sense that it doesn't seem like they get the crazy amount of tourism like St. Augustine gets. It's definitely sleepy. It's a sleepy little beach town and if you're going to be visiting this area there's really no, not a whole lot for you to do as a tourist you know other than the regular Florida things that you could do anywhere in Florida like kayaking and fishing and going to the beach and golfing and stuff like that but the truth is, you can do that anywhere in Florida. So there's no need to come to New Smyrna just to do that kind of thing. But it was nice to stop in here and see what it was like because a lot of people had recommended it from the comments before and I don't even believe it was on my list of places to visit. But I just decided to come check it out because it was right on the way to Port Orange and Daytona Beach. So we figured, why not? Let's stop in here. But 
Yeah, is it a place I would want to go back to? Not really, just because there's nothing pulling me in to really come back and check it out other than those beautiful flowers. But you know what I mean. It's not like a place that I feel like, oh my god, I can't wait to go back there. Which is the feeling that I got the first time I went to St. Augustine and definitely didn't get coming here. But I'm not bashing the town at all. It is a very nice little town. Seems like it's very safe, you know, probably very low crime. And uh, it is a short drive to Daytona Beach, which if you want a lot more action, you got that like half an hour up the road. So after we got done exploring the little historical district in the town center, we decided to take a little drive over to the beach area and see what that was like. And heading over to the beach actually reminded me quite a bit of Key West, just like the small streets and the small little shops right here on the road on the way to the water is very reminiscent of Key West, even the type of vibe that you get there, but just a lot less crowded really, because look, you even see empty parking spaces on the road. You know, Key West is always like bumper to bumper. There's people everywhere all the time. And that's one thing I really actually liked about New Smyrna is you can come to a really cool little beach town without the massive crowd. And yeah, is it going to get crowded on the weekends and the holidays? Probably. But I think this was a Tuesday that we were here on a regular day. It wasn't a holiday or anything like that. And you can see it was probably the perfect day to come to New Smyrna. And that's why overall the place left a good impression on me. It's just that there's not much to this area that would like really pull me back in. I guess that's really the best way I can explain it. But the town itself is very nice and um, I would definitely recommend coming to check it out at least once if you're in the area. You know, if you're going to stay here, you're going to have to do some diligence looking for a good hotel. Staying on the beach is ridiculously expensive. So I would probably avoid that and maybe find something a few miles inland and just drive to the beach because you'll save a ton of money like that. And as someone who lives on the beach, I can tell you it's probably not worth it to stay in the Spring Hill Suites right there for $400 a night. So yeah, I would pass on that, but definitely come and check it out and see what you guys think for yourselves. And similarly to Daytona Beach, you can see the cars going by on the beach here. You can actually take a drive on the beach here in New Smyrna, so that's pretty cool. And we actually did that in Daytona, which you'll see in an upcoming video. So I would recommend anybody who's never taken a drive down the beach, you definitely should do it at least once in your life because I thought it was kind of corny, but it was actually pretty cool. So definitely give that a try if you've never done it before. Swing by New Smyrna for half a day, maybe a whole day if you're in the area, but I would say probably skip it overall. One thing I don't want you to skip is my next video on the screen. Go ahead and check it out and I'll see you guys over there.